Well, she will always hold the distinction as the UFC's first Chinese champion. She is the strawweight queen, Shang Wei Li, and she has got every skill that you would want in an elite mixed martial artist. We haven't seen a whole lot of her groundwork, but you can be sure she is putting in all the effort to have that be just as good as her striking, which is truly off the charts. You can ask her on a J check about that. But as the title defenses mount up, and as the challenges continue to get stiffer, we will see how Zhang Weili handles herself. Pressure has not been a factor at this point in time. We'll see how it goes for her in defense tonight. Well, she's about as well-rounded as it gets, DC, and I know you didn't have the benefit of starting as a striker back in the day. First day she stepped in a gym, she was mixing all the different disciplines, and the results certainly speak to that commitment and dedication. It shows. It shows in her ability to fight high-level competition right away. She does not need fights to build her up. She's prepared to fight the wrestler. She's prepared to fight the grappler. She's prepared to do a kickboxing match with the best kickboxers. Her life has prepared her yeah. for these moments. All the training, all the sessions, all the private sessions has made her ready to compete for a title right away. Yeah, I would agree, and, and at least the early returns are that she looks comfortable and confident in every discipline and every martial arts situation. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, three losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Jong Magnum And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 11 wins, 11 losses, and one draw. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Red Quiet Storm. Calls. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready? You ready to fight? Well, for my money, nothing like calling fights here north of the border. Scotiabank Arena in Toronto. A lot of big moments for your boy, Max Blessed Holloway in this book. Yeah, man, Max Holloway has become almost the home team when he fights in Toronto, they love him here. And every time he fights at the Scotiabank Arena, he puts on a show. Right hand punch at the clinch. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Educated jab right there from Zhang Wei Li. This is a competitive division, but certainly looks like a fighter who could reign for some time. I mean, China's first UFC champion. And Wei Li is the person that you want to see carrying the flag for her country. She has everything. She's even learned to speak English. Now she understands the importance of drawing people in and capturing the imagination of the fight fans around the world. Marcos gets back up. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown beat? You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. And she connects with a punch there, champ. She's so accurate. She's so good at timing all of her strikes. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting. And she's got the double and commitment to excellence. She finally gets this fight to the ground after many failed attempts. She was not discouraged. Now she has this fight exactly where she wants it. So just over 20 total strikes, which have landed for Weili Zhang. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Ooh, big shot land. <laughs> oh, the right hand is there for her. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Man, how good is her jab? And there it is again. So that jab has been in her opponent's face from the open. It is crazy to watch this, John. It's amazing for us to sit here and watch someone with an understanding of the striking and an understanding of the jab being first 
as she it's is the same tonight. story, just told on a different day. Takeout after takeout after takeout. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Randa Marcos. Man, her submission attempts keep on coming. Going for the choke now. Oh, man, that was slick. Marcos has just got full mount now. Under two minutes now to go round one. Oh, nice punch there by Randa Marcos. What a great job by her there to double up on the jab and really give her opponent a lot to think about on the feet tonight. She's having trouble processing everything that's coming at her, and she's beating her with a basic, basic jab, but they're very nice and crisp. Combination lands for her there. She would seem to be in the zone. Is that something you hey, feel as a fighter? I like that, yes, and she's in the zone. She, everything that she throws seems to be finding its target. Nice job by her there to land get another takedown. I gotta think if Gilroy High School wrestling practice oh. next week, they're gonna be watching this film. I mean, we will show it. I will pull out the projector, put it up on the wall, and say this is how you secure takedowns in a big environment. The state tournament has nothing on what this young lady's going through. She's going for the arm bar here. Gotta be careful, arm bar. Done. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Going. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known Use for. Her hips to get back in the guard. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Let's go. We got a scramble here. Oh, her ground and pound is downright scary in constant pursuit of the finish. Might get it here. She does a really good job of throwing punches with a tin. She never just throws just to be throwing. Every punch is meant to land, and every punch is meant to start a pitch. Oh, oh saved oh. by the bell, round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is, so the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Randa Marcos. Effective punch there by Jean. Oh, beautifully placed with the left hook counter. One, two there by Sean Whaley. I'm not sure her striking has ever looked better, DC. Finding the range with relative ease here tonight. She's doing a great job of timing everything. She is seeing everything out there. Big leg kick land. Again, back to this position. Damaging punch there. Another punch position. What a wrestler. That was an amazing takedown. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half. Marcos is looking for that arm triangle now. Oh, nice job by her there. You see how strong she is. Her opponent's trying to control posture, unable to do so. Now she can get to work and put the money in the bank with that grounded pump. Money in the bank. Take down there by Marcos. Oh, and with urgency, she is back up again. Oh, and she connects there, so the hands look good tonight. Great timing to land that punch. Again, she chooses to clinch here. 
All right, so we're on the feet at least for now, but you got to think, at least from her standpoint, another takedown attempt. She's definitely going to be shooting another takedown attempt. It's double leg. Oh, and she gets the takedown there and really made it look easy, I thought. She made it look easy because she timed it perfectly. Before her opponent could react, she is already in the finishing mode. Oh, lands a hip toss now. Under three minutes to go here in round two. And she's back up again, so the takedowns have been there. So have the get-ups. gets caught with that punch. And she's back in the push. 76 total strikes have landed for Weili Zhou. And the accuracy rate 57% above the UFC average. That's been a big story of this fight tonight. Against another takedown man. Taken down now by Randall Marcos. Oh, well played there as she gets nice back job to her. the takedown there. And I know her opponent felt like she put in all the right work, but sometimes until you're in there feeling the opponent, you don't know what you're in for. You're not wrestling with someone at that level every single day. The person has their own unique feel in the wrestling exchanges, and she's experiencing that right now. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. Well, she's got a good jab, missed with it there. Under two minutes to go in the round. And they separate. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Throws the punch there and connects. Nice job by her there. Nice job. Nice punch. So again, they will clinch here. Oh, nice right hand. Takedown defense holds up. Sean gets the tight clinch here. Again, they will clinch. We'll see how it goes. Sean's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Marcos gets caught with that punch. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Well, she's really putting it all together on the feet, DC, staying busy and certainly staying accurate. She's known for her hands, and this is why. Marcos gets hit another takedown. 30 seconds to go here. That is a nice jab by her there, as your boy Rosendo Sanchez might say. That was clean. It was so clean. One of the best female fighters I've ever seen fight behind the jab is Joanna Young Jacek. She controlled people with a jab. Sean Wei Lee with an entry here and able to connect on that one too. Beautifully done. I watched Wei Lee hit pad, and I was amazed at the hand speed that she displayed in that short video clip. This is a fantastic striker, an unbelievable performer, and a great UFC champion. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You're better than she is. You're more technical than she is. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Oh, she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. It's one thing to be aggressive, but also efficient. She is certainly doing that. DC, for my money, she's really timing her shots pretty well here tonight. Her timing, accuracy. Oh, double leg. With conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Nice straight punch. Back in the clinch now. Got clip with the right hand. Head strikes. Oh, nice. Right back in the clinch. Massive takedown tip land. She's 
back up again. Well, she lands another strike to the body here in the percentage. Oh! She is such a diverse fighter that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Sure it could be another big take now goes in and secures the takedown back to the feet nice punch by marcos all right so the narrative in this one continues to be her educated job oh! can't take pictures now she has to react she has to go chase the finish All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to. No! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Oh, beautiful level change. Well, she's got nothing left in the tank, and there's another just huge whiff. Forgettable effort, at least in terms of the cardio, I think, tonight. Yeah, she's done. She's so tired that she's throwing for the head, but the head's never going to be where you anticipate, especially when you're exhausted. She's loading up. She's showing what's coming. She really needs to take a step back. Again, she chooses to clinch here. Man, she might punch harder than you. Nice connection there. I don't know. Oh! You can never know what you're going to see with this young lady. Is she going to finish the fight? Back to the feet. All right, so she does it again as she gets another takedown. Her opponent's done a decent job getting back to her feet, but once again gets planted firmly on her back. Here. She needs to defend earlier because the moment this young lady gets her hands locked around your legs, Locked around your body. She has so many different takedown attempts, so many different finishes, so many different skills. It's hard to keep up with her. She has to defend earlier, a lot earlier. Good run. Well, she whiffs on the straight right hand. Another big takedown. One minute now to go in our third and final round. That right hand landed. And just misses with that big right hand. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight, and she is making up for lost time. Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh, oh, those are both, oh! She misses with the left punch there. What a punch. She missed with that jab. Right oh! oh, it's over. Yo, wow! That was nasty! <laughs> yeah, just an excellent job by her to stay aggressive late in the fight. She told us during fight week she had to try to keep the judges out of it. And she certainly did that late. A huge shot landed. It landed clean. The referee jumps in to stop the fight as she gets the late knockout down the stretch here tonight. Well, that's a knockout they'll be talking about for quite some time. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop this contest at four minutes, 54 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, John Manham Well, there she is. This arena belongs to her here tonight. Hard pressed to find a knockout in the women's game as stunning as that. I mean, she has so much confidence 
in her hand that she's willing to stand in front of her opponent and take one to give one. And when she gave one, it shut the opponent's lights out. Great job but finding that kill shot. Goodness, gracious, move like the Gracie brothers. Go pay me something. Fed everybody, they don't save me nothing. Still back to the bone from feeders. Them man move misleading. Choco, check if he's breathing. Nigel, I don't think he's breathing.